up YouTube, Topaz Yates back with another mixtape review and this one is to that Timberland, King Stays King. And what he's pretty much trying to say here is even though we haven't heard that much from him in quite some time and such, and even though he has jumped straight over the pop like he's been doing a lot of shit with Justin Timberlake, uh, Britney Spears, you name him, he's been doing fucking music for him and such. He is still that dude when it comes to production. I mean, he has changed the way music is made twice. So this mixtape pretty much solves as a reminder to people that he is still that dude when it comes to production, man. And you know what makes him so great is the fact that he adapts to no matter the time period as well as change it with his own original music. And on this mixtape, Timberland is doing just that, man. He's adapting to the current state of commercial hip-hop, man, which is mainly some trap shit right now, man, and he's taking it, and he's damn near legitimizing it. Like, I've been saying this in a bunch of different videos and shit, that I have been waiting for someone to take what these trap musicians and shit have been doing and legitimize it, because a lot of these dudes just don't have the core basics, the core fundamentals to do so. And a bunch of artists have tried, none has come as close as Timberland on this joint, man. Quite honestly, this is the best step forward for trap music. Starting with that joint, Dim Jeans with Migos, the in that production, man, definitely makes it seem like the Migos can rap, don't it? They just rhyme just so well with it, it was kind of just catered perfectly for them to make it seem like it was a dope damn track for anybody who's not paying attention to lyrics. You can see the same thing in that Swervin track, man. Doesn't that shouted beat with Rich Homie Quan on it make it seem like Rich Homie Quan was doing a hate on that bitch? He damn near made Young Thug look adequate and Two chains, he just fucks up whatever the fuck he's on. That shit was still garbage. But this, but that is definitely the direction that Timberland went with this project. He's going to try to take trap music as it is now and make that shit into something dope because a lot of these dudes out here just can't fucking do it. But that's not all this mixtape was about, man. He also had a bunch of tink on there because he's still promoting her as his artist, which she should be doing that shit. Just a bunch of those songs already was released beforehand and I really didn't like them to damn begin with. With. And then he got that shaking with Aaliyah on there. That joint was cool, man. I mean, you want to give it a pass. You want to say how great it is because it's Aaliyah, but not really. It, it wasn't nothing phenomenal. And this could be why we haven't really heard much from Aaliyah, even though we keep hearing that there's more content that she got circulating out there. Overall, I would say go ahead and peep out this project just to see the work that Timberland has been doing to make trap music better and such, man. But it's not that great. Like, Timberland's overall projects have never been that damn great because he tends to try to make more statements with his production than to make quality damn music and this time the statement actually worked but overall I'd only give this project a 5 out of 10 man but still one that I would definitely recommend people to peep out but this concludes today's review and now we're going to jump into brief instrumental from underground producer Mr. Good Goes Hard before we jump into the news and then we're going to jump into an article from downloadpass.com So 2 Chains came out pretty much talking about his dabbing Santa ugly sweaters and shit, saying that he has now made 2 million, even after he gave away some money to charities and all of that, man. And it makes sense, man, because whenever I go just look at random videos, I always see somebody, whether it be a celebrity or not, somebody rocking them shits, man. And I ain't even mad at him. He definitely took the money, did a little something positive with it, and he's always on his hustle, man. Mad props to that boy 2 Chains for that. But anyway, on to today's article from DownloadPads.com, and today's article is about planning and action because this is the shit that people fuck up. Like, yes, you want to plan every step of the way, the best possible way that you can in order for you to do something absolutely right the first time. But here's the thing. You only have but so much time to be able to plot some shit before you have to just do it. It is not feasible for you to be planning on your hip hop career for 10 fucking years and then once you try to enable that plan, if it doesn't work, you just wasted 10 fucking years for nothing. Like if you're going to make a strong attempt to be in the music industry, man, I would say go ahead, make your plan for like a month or some shit. Anything longer than that without any action getting you to where you want to go, you get into that lane of your just wasting fucking time. You're going to end up wasting all of the time you have to succeed and then end up flat on your fucking face. Keep in mind that some action, even if it's not the most phenomenal, well thought out plan and shit, that's better than no action for a long extended amount of time. I hope you enjoyed the show. 
You can follow me at Twitter up there. And you can go to DownloadPads.com. That's down there to read today's article.